In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 11, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Los Angeles Angels vs. Seattle Mariners The Major League Baseball betting action goes on Monday, September 11, 2023, with a 15-game card including a doubleheader at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. The Angels and Mariners open a three-game set in Seattle. It's their final series of the season, and the Mariners are 6-4 against the Angels in 2023. Dilbert has been effective at home all season but has turned it up a notch in August and September. He has produced a 1.8 earned run average with a 0.6 WHIP in his previous three starts at T-Mobile. The Mariners have won each of Gilbert's last six games at home. Detmers has struggled away from his home stadium, winning only once in his 11 starts and compiling a 5.6 earned run average and 1.45 WHIP. The Mariners have won five of their previous six series at home, including a three-game sweep of the Kansas City Royals at the end of August. The Angels have lost seven of their previous nine games overall. They have also lost six of their last seven series away from their home stadium and were swept by the lowly Oakland A's on the road last week. The Mariners have an elite pitching staff in 2023, ranking second overall in earned run average at home with 3.69. Over the last two weeks, the Mariners have registered a 124 WRC plus against left-handed pitchers. Also, they are 1-8 for 5-7 with seven doubles and three home runs versus Reed Detmers. On the other side, the Angels have accounted for a 103 WRC plus against right-handed pitchers in the past two weeks. They are 8 for 2-9 with three doubles and three dingers against Logan Gilbert. The win for the Angels in their series against Cleveland doesn't move the needle for me for the Angels as I've stuck a fork in this team long ago. The Mariners need wins right now for their positioning in the American League wild card race and I think Seattle comes out with a purpose here. So the Seattle Mariners money line is our full game side pick. Detmers has produced an earned run average of 5.6 in his 11 games on the road this season. The Angels have gone over the run total in five of Detmers' previous six starts and they have pushed or gone over in five of their last seven games overall. The Los Angeles pitching staff ranks near the bottom of the league in team earned run average. The Mariners currently rank 10th in the majors in average runs scored per game and ISO, so they are capable of scoring quickly in bunches against Angels pitching. The Mariners have gone over the run total in four of Gilbert's previous five starts. The Mariners have produced a .454 slugging percentage in their previous seven games at T-Mobile and they have averaged two home runs per game during that stretch. The Angels have hit a healthy .263 and they have smacked eight homers and ten doubles in their last five games on the road. The Mariners have gone over the run total in four of their previous five games. Interestingly, both bullpens have recorded an awful 6.32 earned run average through the first nine days in September. The Mariners have allowed four or more runs in seven of their previous eight contests, while the Angels have yielded five or more in five of their last seven tilts. Although both Reed Detmers and Logan Gilbert have pitched well in the last few weeks, it's hard to trust the Angels and Mariners' bullpen at the moment. These two teams know each other very well, and I'm expecting to see a high-scoring affair. The over is 5-3-2 to three to two in the last 10 meetings between the Halos and M's. Most signs point to a higher-scoring affair when these two squads meet in Seattle on Monday evening. Over the projected total is our full-game total pick. Cleveland Guardians vs. San Francisco Giants The 2023 Major League Baseball season continues Monday, September 11th, with the Cleveland Guardians facing off against the San Francisco Giants in the interleague battle at Oracle Park in San Francisco, California. Cleveland and San Francisco open a three-game series. They lock horns for the first time in 2023, and the Giants eye their sixth straight victory over the Guardians. Last year, the Giants swept a three-game set at Progressive Field in Cleveland. The Giants come into the series opener in better form coming off a series sweep while the Guardians have lost two in a row. 
and six of their last eight games. Cleveland only ranks 28th in the majors in runs scored and have only totaled three runs in their last two games. They will not get much at all off Cobb, who was not sharp in his last outing but was in his last home start coming within one out of a no-hitter. The Giants have totaled 24 runs in winning their last three games, and while they will get some runs in this game, it will not be many facing Williams who has pitched very well on the road this season. The Giants own a 122 WRC plus and .214 ISO against right-handed pitchers in September, so Gavin Williams could have a tough day in the office. San Francisco's lineup got things going against the Rockies' lousy pitching staff. On the other side, the Guardians have an 84 WRC plus against the righties and 108 WRC plus against the lefties in September. Their bullpen is full of right-handers, and the Guardians' relievers have struggled as of late. San Francisco will get the W in this one with clutch hitting at home and push their win streak to four games. So the San Francisco Giants' money line is our full game side pick. The total for the Giants has gone over in their last four games. The Guardians have only totaled three runs in their last two games and only ranked 28th in the majors in this game. Their struggles as the dish will continue facing Cobb, who gave up four runs in his last start but in the one before, his last at home, he came within one out of a no-hitter. Williams has not given up more than two runs in any of his six road starts this season and he will also have a good outing. Both teams are pretty inconsistent at the dish and there's not a lot of pop among their bats. As I've mentioned above, the Guardians Guardians and Giants have combined for 24 home runs over the last couple of weeks. The Guardians have only scored 23 runs over their previous seven games. On the other side, the Giants have accounted for 18 runs through a couple of games against Colorado, but the Rockies' pitching is at a triple A level at the moment. The under is 12 to 3 to 1 in the last 16 encounters between Cleveland and San Francisco. Don't look for many runs in this interleague series opener. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. San Diego Padres vs. Los Angeles Dodgers The San Diego Padres face the Los Angeles Dodgers with both teams heading in opposite directions to close out the season. The Padres have a 67-77 record, have the second-worst record in the National League West Division, and with consecutive losses, they have been eliminated from postseason contention. The Dodgers have an 87-55 record and have the best record in the National League West Division. The Dodgers are getting the benefit of the doubt like they always do, especially at home where they're always favored. The Padres are also a team I just don't back often because they're not a serious team despite the talent level. With that said, Gavin Stone has had his issues through 18 career innings with his 10.5 earned run average and 2.28 WHIP. Stone is giving up homers and has had control issues. Pedro Avila has pitched 37 innings and he has a 2.19 earned run average and 1.35 WHIP with 38 strikeouts. Avila just pitched 6.2 scoreless innings against the Padres. So the San Diego Padres' money line is our full game side pick. When diving into the last seven games each of these guys have pitched, runs are incredibly difficult to come by as Pedro Avila is 1-2 with a 2.57 earned run average and a 1.24 WHIP in 28 innings while Clayton Kershaw is 4-0 with a 1.8 earned run average and a 0.97 WHIP during his 35 innings in that span. Since the All-Star break, these teams have also been two of the best on the mound as San Diego ranks 7th with a 3.88 team earned run average while Los Angeles is 3rd with a 3.66 team earned run average in the second half of the season. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.